I just got done shooting. Um, man, wow. It, it's amazing when you get to a location, especially one like I just went to, been to tons of times. I've shot an immense amount of photos at that spot, but every single time it's different. I think one of the most interesting things about landscape photographers is that we're pessimistically optimistic about every single shoot that we go on. You know, this may not get me any photos whatsoever, but I think that it has the possibility to. And that's like how I feel before every shot is like, will this work out? I get really excited about the opportunity that, that it presents and the photos that I can get. But at the same time, I'm like, man, I don't think this is going to work out. But then when it usually does, and I get at least some type of image out of the shoot, I'm always pretty happy at that. So I think what I'm going to do the rest of the day is just kind of work my way down. Since we're at the high point right now, uh, I'm going to work my way down the main road here, get down to some lower elevations and do some shooting get some more of that uh, fall color look since it is late October here. And right now I'm in just this amazing old growth forest. And uh, yeah, it should be a really fun day of shooting. A great start when I didn't think it was going to be a good start. No matter how many times I visit this location, I'll never get tired of photographs like this. I shot this with a telephoto lens at about 70 millimeters. And this was a bracketed shot of three images just to get every ounce of detail out of the shadows and highlights. One of the things that I love about visiting locations over and over is photographing them in different ways. I did a time lapse, actually several time lapses here that you saw at the beginning of this video. And I took this single frame out of one of the time lapses just because it really amplifies the soft pastel sunrise that occurred that morning. I also took clips from other time lapses and edited those a little bit further to create images like this stacked mountains and fog going out into the distance. Just came down the mountain, uh, spent all afternoon literally looking for something to eat. Everything is closed because of COVID. Um, but finally made it down the mountain. I'm excited to get to go shoot again this afternoon, heading to some waterfalls. And I think what I'd like to do this afternoon is try something a little bit different. You know, one of the things that I love to do is waterfall photography, but I never really do it with a telephoto lens. So that's what I'm trying to do this afternoon. I think this whole trip is just like trying new stuff in familiar locations. Something to break up the monotony of coming to the same locations is good for the soul sometimes. So that's kind of what I'm trying today. Uh, lights fading pretty quick. So I don't know, I may do some like abstract shots as the light continues to fade. But right now, the water's flowing really nicely. I had to make my way up the trail pretty quickly, hurtling over some of the logs that had fallen from recent storms. And I finally made it to the waterfalls in this little mountain stream where you have countless cascades that you can play with in your compositions. And I've been to this location several times before and photographed this stream with a wide angle lens and played with those cascades. But this time I decided to go solely telephoto and photograph kind of like a tunnel view down the stream to get those cascades in the foreground with some of the fall leaves on the rocks that kind of scatter back through the image and lead you back to the tree canopy that's hanging over the little mountain stream here. A one second exposure allowed me to freeze the leaves where they were and also get a nice cascade in the foreground. I also played with images with intentional camera movement, a little bit more of an abstract view of the fall leaves and the tree trunks too. You know, at times I really put myself in more precarious situations than I need to be in. I probably almost fell into this river a couple different times. It's not deep, but it is flowing a little bit 
you know, more rapid than I would want to. If you're not well balanced or if you don't exercise to balance on trips like this, like I would not recommend being out here on a rock like this, but there is a waterfall just under this bridge with like fall canopy right over it that I'm trying to get. I, you can see it from the bridge that goes across, but I've never really liked that perspective. And I just saw this little walking trail that comes down on the side over here that I wanted to use to get down to this spot. So I'm gonna try to balance on this rock and get a telephoto shot up underneath the bridge and, and try to remove as much this of this clutter in the foreground as possible but you know i think this is probably maybe my last shot of the day may get a couple more in but it's been a great day of photography and i've really enjoyed it so much I'll be honest, I hated the photograph that I got underneath the bridge with the telephoto lens, so I stepped up on top of the bridge, and I never liked it with a wide angle shot because of the high perspective eliminated how grand the scene and the waterfall actually is. So I thought, what can I do to encapsulate what I see? I decided to do three images, landscape view, and then merge those into a vertical panorama to create this image here that I love. You know, if you are new here, I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. It's not always easy being out in the field by yourself and, and filming these types of things, so I really appreciate you watching this. If you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to have you along for the next adventure.